Greetings, roomies. So here we are, another day in Second Life. I don't know what I'm wearing today. I just put on the first thing I could find in my wardrobe. We're going to be uh, looking for land for me to buy so that I can show you how to start from scratch on a piece of land. And there's many ways in which you can buy land. You can just search on the marketplace. You can uh, fly around until you find this for sale sign. However, the way that I like to buy is directly from Linden Labs. And for that, you need to find abandoned land. And there's some little tricks that you can do to do that. Uh, if you're going to buy sell land, that's a good way to do it because you get it for one prim, and sorry, one um, Linden dollar per uh, meter which is cheaper than most people sell. Now you can buy any type of land on, in Second Life at all, but I have certain requirements when I buy land. I like it to be uh, what next to protected land, like such as a road or an ocean or a river or something that is not gonna be built on so that we don't get boxed in. That's not everybody, like a lot of people are quite happy to buy land that's locked, uh, landlocked. And um, they're quite you know, happy there. They do a skybox or something like that, which is good. But um, that's what I like and that's what I look for. And there are certain roads in Second Life that I really like. This is one of them. This is Route 4. There's a couple of routes that I like. I like Route 4, I like Route 9. I like Route 2. Um, and every now and then I'll just, you know, start flying and or somewhere. So then we're going to go this way and see where we can end up. Oh. As you can see, since uh, 2019 and what's been happening in the real world in 2019, Second Life has become very, very popular. It's been like yeah, a lot of people have been um, moving in, I guess. When I see an empty lot, I right click and see about land. That one there is actually for sale. That one is. Let's see how much they're selling it for. Well, they're selling it for way too much money. That's never gonna, never gonna sell. They actually, I think they're trying to. Um, bully somebody into buying it or something or maybe just to get traffic but this is some of the don't do it in second life that things put in an obnoxious building where you want to sell so the neighbors don't want you there and want to buy it but the price is so high that that's not there to be sold actually the land around it belongs to somebody else I, mean, I don't know actually it was abandoned and that's what we want to look for abandoned land but this one's not good because for us Basically because this person's here and they obviously don't have any intentions of that selling that tiny little bit of land there. And also the access to the road is tiny. It's right here. We want a nice big spot of access. All right, let's carry on. This one here seems to be kind of empty. Let's have a look and see what about. Yeah, somebody owns that one. Oh, while we're here, we can look at our house. Oh, look at that. How pretty that house is. You see it? Right there. Let's zoom in. That's really nice. What a beautiful home. I think I recognize the builder. Let's see if I find it. We're lagging a little bit. Creator. Westland Mansion. Well, let's see if they have a, a store. Oh, they have a marketplace. Uh, I can click on that and then it will open up in my main viewer. And then I can look at his store and see if there's any nice stuff that you know, I don't want. The other thing is, oh yeah, it doesn't actually show me how many land impact it has. Mm. 
It is very nice though. Look at that. It's really nice. Yep, I'll probably be getting it. Super, super nice. We'll see, hopefully it's not too pretty. Inside. Actually, I know not to be staring inside people's homes, but I actually want to know if I want to buy this one. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, that's a room. This is a really nice build. Alright, we're going to be checking that out. Alright, let's carry on. Here, I'm not even going to check this land around here because of these huge ads and things. And actually, this ad up here is um, illegal again. Second Life has some certain rules and regulations about ads. And one of them is not above eight feet, eight meters, and uh, no rotations. But people still do it. Let's grab this rod. It's a nice corner lot here. Sometimes corner lots are cool, but they're hard to build on. They belong to someone. This is very, very flat, so it probably belongs to someone. Let's have a look at this other one. Yep, flat properties. They buy a lot of stuff in Second Life. Oh, there's a piece of abandoned land. Let's see how big it is. 17,856. That's big. Alright. It's actually very nice. Yeah, it is a very nice lot. Let's see how big it is now. Oh, it goes into the back, I think. Because it's very. Oh no, this is 6,000. I don't know what I was looking at before. So, when I find a piece of land that's really nice shape or whatever, so I have a look at the neighbors. That one's smack in the middle of it. But it was. Is there is a possibility of putting a house here and another one there that are independent from each other? I just have to look, see how obnoxious this one is. Your script factory. Who's maze square? It's not too bad. Not too bad. That, however, <laughs> that is pretty bad. That is pretty bad. To have that as a neighbor, I mean, yeah. We could put something here to stop it, but oh my gosh, that's really bad. You know what? I think I'm going to pass on this one. I will take a look at a different one. There's always more. All right, let's have a look some more. Oh, my, my avatar is taking a phone call while she's flying. So excuse her. <laughs> Phone's ringing all the time. She needs to answer it. Oh, this is one of my other favorite. I go by the roots, um, by the, the texture of the road, it makes it really nice. This is route 3, I don't know if it's route 3 on both sides, it's definitely route 3 there, I don't know about the here though, let's see. Yep, hmm, okay. Alright, let's try this one. So somebody's selling this one. Let's see how much they're selling it for. 
2.8 square meter. That's not actually bad from our side of the road, except that this region is not that pretty. I do like, love this uh, road with the little um, lights. Lots of advertisers on the side here. Let's have a look at this big lot here. Yep, this is abandoned. How much frontage does it have? It's only got a little bit of frontage here. What about this one? Yep, that one's abandoned as well. Oh no, that's the same one. So this one and this one. Oh, just keeps popping back into the other one. Okay, that land. Okay, so that belongs to someone. It's got most of the frontage for that one. I don't know. It's something. It's possible. Let's take a look at it a bit more. The region name is called Nadata. Nadata. I look. I can never pronounce the region names. Let's take a look. See further in. What do we have up here? All right. Let's see. Over here we have somebody on the world and another abandoned lot here in the back. This abandoned lot is very, very unlikely to ever be sold. And this is a log nest right here. Okay, so it is sold. <laughs> if it was abandoned, not many people will want to buy abandoned land that's locked in like that. Actually a really nice property. There's a lot of ads across the street, but that's not too bad. They're not like huge like the other one. So what happens when you reach a location is like, okay, so I really want this land, but it's 18,272 square meters, and I only have, let's say, 2,048 square meters in my um, prim, prim, um, in my tier, second life tier. You can simply locate the corners that you want for the amount that you want, and you can tell, uh, send a ticket to Linden Labs saying, I want so many meters out of this land, and they usually say yes. Well, occasionally they say no, but most of the time they say yes. Oops. Let's run away. All right, I'm lagging a little bit here. As you can see, oh, let's have a look who owns this. I don't know them. That thing. That's a tiny little fandom thing. Um, you can see the land markers here are blue. It means that that one belongs to one of my groups. And sure enough, it is the city. I'm going to the city soon. That one's abandoned. That's actually a nice one, except for this thing here in the little corner. If that wasn't there, I'd probably ask for it, but it's there, so I won't. Yep. This land is the city. It goes around both sides of this building. And um, I'm going to the city before. Land across the city is for sale, and I thought about getting it some time back. It's a little bit more prims, but still a little bit high. It's not really a nice shape. See, it's kind of cornerish, and not much to do there. So I probably won't get that. Okay, this is. 
They said I've loved, they had a lot of things here before. Uh oh, we're crashing. <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. Okay, perfect. Ooh. All right, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, they've abandoned it. That's right next to the city too. Front of it. This might be a really nice lot to get. Let's see how big it is, because I don't know if I have enough. That land. Wow, that's really big. Thirty-five thousand four hundred twenty-eight. Yeah, I don't have enough. Um, Wow, it goes all the way up there, look. It's huge. But I really like this corner lot here, so I'm going to contact uh, Linden to see if he'll sell me this corner lot. It's really nice, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Let me landmark it. The other thing to look at is the date it was abandoned at because sometimes they wait a week before they will allot it to somebody else. This was abandoned on the 15th and today is the 20th, so only five days ago. I would wait. I'm going to wait another week or so before I ask for it. So I don't want to get into a bidding war with somebody else. So there's a couple of places. Let's see. That one. Okay, that belongs to someone. There you go. And this one. I think it belongs to the same person. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is in a different region to that abandoned land. Let's go see inside it. Let's see what they have. Wow, that's a big piece of land. It's 48,832 meters square. It belongs to one person. The Alex outpost post. That person owns most of this region, so they're probably not going to sell. No point even trying. Sometimes I ask people, do they want to sell their land? There's another property that's a group property right there. Okay, let's stop here. Yeah, she's taking a call. This was actually for sale that day. This one. Oh, I guess they, they're not for sale anymore. It was for sale the other day. Somebody must have bought it or they just stopped the sale, I guess. I would have bought it, but I didn't have a land here at the time. Oh well, we could have placed it for sale again and buy it. This is one of my rental properties right here. It's only a little one. Quite affordable. We're looking for to rent. Very, very nice. Alright, I'm gonna look for another few minutes and then I'm gonna probably go with that other one that we found on the street. Oh, what is this? This one's for sale. Let's see how much they want for it. It's a thousand and twenty-four. That's not bad for land on this edge of the road. And we're Manduka. Hmm. Actually a very nice piece of land. Very tiny. Let's see what's around it. Uh, and 
belongs to somebody called Morgana. And this one is oh, abandoned. And it's a big amount. Wow, that goes all the way down there, look. That is some... Oh yeah, that some... belongs to somebody else. Difficult to know. Difficult to know. If I could get both the abandoned and this, it might be it might be worth it. But this this little thing right here that belongs to somebody else, it might encourage them to do something like obnoxious or nasty. They have ramen retreat. We have an ad there. Let's have a look at their ad and see if we want them for a neighbor. I don't want your hope. I don't want you to be hopeful. I want to panic and act as if the house was on fire. Hmm. I don't know. I'm a bit aggressive. Righteous. You have to think about neighbors when you move somewhere, huh? Okay, so we have a couple of places to think about. I really like their house there. That's nice. Well, that's it for today. Now you know <laughs> how to look for land that you might want to purchase and how to talk to Lyndon about it. See you next time.